So you want to create a stripe texture really easily in Blender 2.8. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to create this stripe texture that you saw on the thumbnail. So we're going to get started today um, and I have a scene already pretty much set up here. I'm in rendered viewport shading. I have this sphere, shift A, uh, UV sphere. I have a little bit of a modifier on it, the subsurf 2 and uh, object shade smooth. All right, I have these two lamps. Uh, obviously coming down and light the scene and stuff but we're gonna get started and we're gonna drag our window open split it open into two by dragging from the top left or bottom left uh, corner and changing this to the shader editor formerly known as the node editor if we'll get rid of that because we'll need it and uh, now we have this principal BSDF shader here which is uh, nice I'm gonna go ahead and add in a couple things so we hit shift a search color and then we're gonna grab a color ramp right and then shift a and then we're going to click uh, search and we're going to go for a wave texture like that. All right. So now we're going to hook the color ramp up into the principal BSDF base color and then the wave texture color into the color ramp itself. All right. Now we have that set up. It's going to look like that, which is not exactly what we need right now, but we're getting closer. So we're going to change a couple of things. I'm going to change the scale from five to three and the bands from bands to rings. And you can see, once that's done, you can see we have a little bit of a, a difference here, but we can change it even more by going from sine to saw. Now, we have all the things we need in place. You can see it, it's looking pretty good so far, but we can take this a step further by now adding the color that we need uh, with the color ramp node. You can see if I were to grab this guy, you can see that the, uh, the color will change depending on where this line is at. So we can change this into colors by selecting this tab here and then going down to the black color and turning it into like a nice teal color. Now, you can see it is reflected over here on the right hand side. Let me turn my overlays off. All right now, with the white color, we do the same thing. We can change this to like a yellow, but this is not, it's not looking good. This is not what we need so far. It's, it's like gradient, I mean, that looks cool and everything, but we want it to be solid edged uh, stripes, which looks much better. So we'll change this from linear to constant. Now, we can drag this yellow down, you can see how we have those stripes. Now, if we want uh, lines that are consistent, we can change these by values of 0.25. For instance, I can make this line uh, end at 0 0.25, right? So now we have a teal and a yellow. I'm going to change this from yellow to uh, a nice orangey red like that. Maybe the other way. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to add another one with this little plus icon. And now I'm going to change this position to 0.5 exactly. Now we can change this color to, let's say, maybe we'll do this one as yellow, right? And then we can add another one, hit the plus icon, then we can change this one to 0.75. Now we can change this color once again, or we can leave it as pink, that looks nice, uh, or we can change it once again uh, to a different color as well. So that is that pretty much, and we can change the scale by changing the scale of the vector wavelength texture here to one, we can change it to 0.3, change it to 10 if you want to um, and then of course we can also do some pretty cool things with this if we change the distortion right so we have a little bit of a melty like effect you can animate that if you want to we can do the detail we can change the detail scale up and down get more of a more detail in there or we can change the detail scale and we get some really cool effects here so now we have a lot of different abilities to do a lot of different things i hope you guys enjoyed this super easy and quick tutorial so i'll see you guys in the next one but until then Bye-bye.